G'day folks, Tony again here for more of the many lives of John Rando. Well, we're still wandering the lands, folks, uh, trying to find this place. Uh, we could have a quick look at our other quests. We're currently trying to find Kumawur's End located uh, four to eight parasangs east of the Nyshire Orchard. Um, there's also a Dromad caravan that we have to find within a parasang of Ipia. Uh, it is out in the desert, and uh, we decided not to go there, uh, mainly because uh, we don't have a ton of water uh, at the moment. But uh, maybe we've got a little bit more now, and it is only within one parasang. Oh, those torches. I had totally forgotten about that. Ugh. Uh, anyway, we are, uh, where are we at now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are somewhere over in the, uh, the easternmost vicinity of where this thing could possibly be. And we also are, uh, currently sans, ow. Uh, we're currently sans, uh, companion because we had, uh, some untoward, uh, how should we say, uh, complications that prevented us from, uh, from retaining our retainers. Let's see if we can, we can get this bear on our side. Yeah, <laughs> now we have a bear, buddy. Uh, that's great. What is the bear doing? The bear is just <laughs> mauling everything by the looks of it. Let's see if the bear, uh, lasts or not. It appears not, or it has charged somewhere that I can't see it. Um, wow, lots of explosions happening here. Oh no, they're still here. How are they doing? Badly wounded. Uh, great. Let's uh, actually, if we're going to do this, then we need to give them a name. Uh, Buku, definitely. Good times. Uh, so, Buku, what are you doing? Why do you keep doing this? Why, why can't you just leave them alone? Oh, dear. Lots of exploding happening here. I still don't know if our bear is alive or not. I still don't even know if we're alive. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's an awful lot of... Uh, of killing and exploding happening over here. I don't know. Oh, what is happening? Let's get out of there. This, this is a bad time. Bad things happening in a bad time. Uh, we are not in a great state. Um, we are about to be in an even worse state. Those seem to have followed me from the other screen. Uh, let's run away bravely. <laughs> Day 322 of 2018, let's see what we have. There's the World Seed and Character Build Code. Electrical Generation again, we're going to have Antlers, Night Vision, Myopia, uh, Clairvoyance, Psychometry, and we will be an Apostle. Uh, sure, why not? Let's resurrect John Rando. And see how we go. Come on now. I believe in you. Yeah. We're at the village of Ekavapir. Ta-da. Good times. So what do we have here? We have a bunch of fresh water. We have some goat jerky. Great. Uh, not a lot else, probably. Leather moccasins, a staff, uh, some antlers to attack with. So that's fun. And a cloth robe. Groovy. Are you someone I want to talk to? Pig farmer. Speak to uh, Sage Yashramir or the other name. I can do that if I can find them. Hello, Apple Farmer's daughter. You're going to tell me the same thing. Whoops. Uh, good times. Where, oh, where is everybody? Hello. Okay, so clearly not there. Maybe up here. 
It appears to be night time, which is not the best time to be trying to find people. Although here we have the Zealot, so we can get that quest. Not that we've ever done anything with it to this point. But here is that named fellow. And uh, they look around anxiously and say, Hear me, adventurer. I have a secret plan I'm putting into place. I need someone to go to the, uh, the ranch and sleep on the sanctified folding cot there. No, I cannot tell you why. Will you? I will compensate you for your work. Buy some canned have it all. Tell no one of this. Uh, sure. I would like a random reward. Sleeping on a cot seems a lot more straightforward than another parasang challenge because to be blunt i'm a little sick of them uh let's see if we can find this other person to talk to there is the merchant uh we can eat some of the uh oh wow spit slime slime glands for the rest of the day okay that seems a little unusual but sure the history of ekavapia volume one uh Sure. Can we take that without getting without uh, getting in trouble? Uh, no, just in case someone can see us, we might leave it there. I don't think the merchant is... Sure, I don't think the merchant is part of the village, but uh, I still kind of don't want to risk it. Oh, hello. Standing out here in the middle of nowhere. Let's do a water ritual. Sage Yashramir. Yay! Okay, so tell us a secret, please. A rust bog. Wonderful. Tell me another one. The location of the hold of periodic sprout of worms. Okay. Lovely. That uh, was a settlement, apparently. So that's good. Let's uh, try and get a quest. Do we have a quest? We do. Hark, traveller. I have a secret stratagem I am setting into motion. I need someone to go to the lair of Nyrlumb, legendary ir irritable tortoise, and put something in the woven basket of the godly hedge there. No, I cannot tell you why. What do you think? I will compensate you for your assistance. This conversation never happened. Sure. Uh, so, legendary irritable tortoise. Good times. Who is this? Is this the warden? It is. Hello, warden. Let's do that ritual. I will tell you a secret. Yeah, I'm, in fact, I might tell you two secrets. Good times. Now you tell me one. Uh, Bela. Another settlement. Good times. Thank you so much, Warden. Very much appreciated. Now let's go and do some trading. Uh, not a lot to offer here. Um, we do have a little bit of water to potentially buy some things with, so I guess we're... Ooh, hello. Um, can we look at you? Yeah, Darapur II, deep in the wilds of Darkova. Darapur II stumbled upon a clan of crabs performing a secret ritual because of her perpetual visage. They accepted her into their fold and taught her their secrets. Good times. Ah, yeah, and a visit quest. They're always fun. And depending on the location of it, relatively easy to complete. Dried lar petals, a glow sphere. Mmm, that would be nice. Instead of carrying around all of those torches, we're going to want some bandages, though, so let's grab a few of them. There's muskets and short bows. Silver glow white shepherd of Agalglot figurine. That seems expensive as well. Okay, um, so we don't have a lot to... We don't have a lot to sell. I guess we can sell that. Uh, I guess we can sell those. How much will we get for all of those torches? L a little bit. How much is the... Glow Sphere? 28. Uh, Alright. Before we do any of that, let's just see if there's anything here that we can remove. I might take those leather moccasins off. I don't think they give us a bonus. They don't. So we'll remove those so we can sell them. We'll keep that staff for now. Uh, let's remove that as well. And why not? Let's remove the uh, the robe. And we'll just go try and sell everything that we can. They're going to be worth not much, but uh, maybe it will help somewhat. Ten, all right. And we're going to want the glow sphere. And we're going to want three bandages. I'm going to have to give them a bunch of water. Let's do that. 
That should still leave us with some water. Yep. So that's good. We can pop uh, that glow sphere into our hand. And now we don't have those torches to hoof around with anymore. Good times. Uh, John Rando is ready to, uh, to set forth on an adventure. Don't know if there's anything here. Hello. It's been desecrated by vandals. The tatters of a sweat-stained ch uh, chuffy uh, thrash in the wind from where they hang about the farmer's neck. Clasped in its gnarled brown hand is a curved vine ripper of iron with which it culls moisture-swollen wafers from the Ver Viridian plant called water vine. Mm -hmm. uh, let's not do any praying, shall we? I don't know what that would result in. Uh, same thing, sure. So desecrated uh, statues, that sounds fun. Don't know if there's anything else around here. That'll be the uh, apple farmer's daughter again. Is there anything we can... Ooh, can we nick that? Oh, I really don't want to risk angering everything. Uh, not when we only just uh, reincarnated. Let's have a look at the map and see where things are. So we're way down to the, the very southern part of the map there. That's new. And we can go to the legendary tortoise lair is fairly close. Uh, there's a ranch there that is also fairly close. What is this one? The hold of periodic sprout of worms. Sure. Where is the thing that we need to go and sit on the thing? Baylar. There's something way over here in the desert. A rust bog. Lovely. Uh, what else are we missing? Was there somewhere else that we were supposed to go? I can't even remember. Uh, what's what anymore? Travel to uh, Ishura Rack Ranch. Okay. Did we see that on the map? Did I miss something? Lair of the Tortoise. Okay, there it is up there near the rusted archway. Uh, sure, let's let's give it a go. Let's head in that direction and see how badly this goes. Can we make it all the way there without getting lost? Apparently so. What sort of critters are going to be waiting here for us, though? That's the question. Because we are as green as can be. Come on now. Yeah, build it. Tremendous. Can we get, can we get in? I don't know. Uh, so it is a ranch. That looks like the cot right there. Is anything hostile to us? Does not appear to be the case. Let's... Hey, ow! I really didn't need that. Honestly, what, what is going on? So we have stopped bleeding. That's good. Let's see if we can find a way through here. Doesn't look like there is one uh, at this location. So that's fun. Can we burst through the fence without making them cranky with us? Who knows? It doesn't look like we're getting back around this way. All right. Um, maybe over here. It's a way around. Oh, there's baboons everywhere. Um, well, look, first things first. Whoops. Let's uh, make sure that we're not hungry. There we go. Now I think we could do a real sneaky thing over here where we can try... Uh, oops. Breaking through that fence, which we've done. Hopefully that hasn't made everyone cranky. Sure. Uh, what would we like to sleep? Well, that one's at the top, so let's go for that. Yeah, 500 experience points. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, so we've been sleeping. Something went zooming past us. Uh, and now... We should have a bunch of uh, skill points, and we do. One mutation point. We've got that nice sort of neutral bent of, uh, of abilities there. I suppose we should have a look at uh, we should have a look at what these things do. Uh, but at the moment, I don't want to activate them. That's fun. Um, so we can discharge uh, some electricity. We can see to other places. We can identify items by touching them. We can stare at things. We can intimidate and proselytize. A lot of that will be because we're an apostle. And we can run away real fast, which we can always do anyway. Uh, I believe that this means 
we can now return to our Echo of Appear. Yes, we can. So let's do that immediately. Let's get lost and try walking back to the farm we were just at <laughs> so that we can, uh-oh, uh, regain our, oh no, there's just things everywhere. Um, let's see if this works. Did it work? It worked a little bit. It certainly injured them, so that's fun. Uh, we don't have any charges uh, left here yet, so we can try doing a menacing stare uh, at the salt hopper, hopper, and it is afraid, but we don't have any ranged weapons, so we will skedaddle. Uh-oh, or maybe not. Maybe we can't. Uh, <laughs> I guess we can't go north yet. Surely somewhere over here. Uh-oh. Hello, Mr. Boar, sir. Oh, come on. Yay, we did it. Good times. See if we can rest, and we can. So we got even more skill points. Uh, and attribute points, and mutation points. So we should probably figure out where we're going to allocate those skill points before anything else. We have a staff at the moment. We haven't really picked up any other weapons, though, so I think I... Oh, damn ivories. All right, we've stopped bleeding again immediately, so we seem to be fairly robust when it comes to not bleeding constantly. Let's have a look, and... Oh, here's another salt hopper. Sure. Uh, we have an opportunity to blast it again. Uh, we blasted it a little bit, and we blasted whatever was next to it even more. Let's see if they can uh, be afraid nated, and they can. And we'll take advantage to try scooting again. That didn't work as well as I'd hoped. Nope. Maybe this will. Yeah. Let's flee bravely in this direction. Away from the chameleon. Uh, sure, we've got this again. Zap. Ha ha. I like this zappy ability. It's pretty good. Stay away from those glow crows. There seems to be a war. Some sort of critter war going on. And we are very lost still. I had been hoping to head back to the farm, which is north of us, but seeing as we can't go back that way, uh, maybe we got lost because we fell into a canyon. Uh, not worm skull. Um, I mean, we can't wear it. Because we have antlers, but we can sell it. There's a bronze short sword there. There's no real point picking up bronze things at this stage, I don't think. Somebody just dropped a jewel encrusted something. Iron battle axe. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? So what do we have here? We'll pick that up. And we will also pick that up. Let's look at it first. Jewel encrusted. More valuable. Sure. Um, it also does damage to things. Let's get that. We don't have very high strength, and I think strength might be one of the main things. Ooh. Uh, strength might be one of the main things for using um, axes, I can't recall. Fortunately, I don't need to recall. I can just go look it up, so let's do that. Wow, we have a bunch of different things from... Uh, from our starting abilities. Yeah, axes need strengths. That's not really our thing. Unfortunately, though, not a lot of things is really our thing. We have a fairly flat sort of distribution of... Um, a fairly flat distribution of abilities. So I always tend to, uh, to favor short swords. Um, they do rely on agility. Long blades, kind of a mixed bag. Uh, and cudgels, I think, are also strength. Yes, they are. All right, so I am thinking that we'll... Uh, see, we could put one more point in strength, and that will take it to 17. Um, and 17, I think, is the sort of the earlier cutoff point for a lot of these things. There's 19. I think it might have been short blades. Had some 17s. We are already at 17 agility, though. Yeah. Um, hmm, interesting. Look, I think in the interest of trying to get, we might, we might play into being average here and we will, uh, we'll punk it, punk it into strength. That sounds fun when we hit, if we hit level six, 
uh, we're going to end up with a plus one bonus there. So fun times for all. Uh, and let's commit ourselves to some short blades. We'll grab that. Yep, give it to me. Thank you so much. We have 122 skill points remaining. Um, so no penalty to dodge value when we're sprinting. Yep, give me that. 72 left. Uh, we can probably leave that be for now. I think there's not going to be anything immediate for us to mess around with. We can't get wayfaring. We're too too short on uh, on skill points. Although maybe, just maybe, we're bleeding. What are we bleeding from? Iron short sword. That seems like a good thing for us to grab, considering what we just uh, did for ourselves. We'll Plonk that in there. It's already covered in blood, so we're off to a good start. And an iron mace. I guess we can sell that. Wooden buckler. Don't really have shields as a thing. Take care of this archer. Why am I pink? What made me magenta? I am in a world of hurt here. Um, might have to do that. Good times. Heal me up. Yay. Furs. Do we want those furs? Negative to dodge value. And a short bow. Cool. We don't have any arrows yet, but... Okay, so our dodge value is 7, and our armor value is... Uh, is 0. So we'll plonk those on. That's going to be a fair improvement from what we currently have. You know, light that fire. Why not? All right, now with the weapon equipped, we seem to be... Uh, Seem to be hoeing through things a little better. One and two. I um, wonder if that will be better. I don't really know. But we can sell them. I mean, they're cheap, but this is fairly early in the game, and I guess every little bit will count. hope we got those charges built up, and we do. So we'll hit them with that zap. That didn't really work as well as I'd hoped it would. Let's stare at them. Oops. Let's stare at them and see if that works. It did. So that's good. While they're trying to figure that out. Ooh. Let's uh, have a look at this. Dapu II in uh, 426. After several tumultuous years, the Sultan of Kud died under mysterious circumstances. Because of Darapu II's reputation for murdering someone by trapping her in a miniature clock, she was chosen as the successor. <laughs> Fun. Yep, let's, uh, whoop. yeah, sure, let's get that too. And why not? Seeing as we're picking things up off the ground, let's go whole hog. How are our hit points doing there? Not too shabby. Anything there to pick up? Not really. So uh, this brute is coming back in. Just going to move a little bit so these charge-ups will charge a little more. Now they're injured. Hmm. That's not going as well as I'd hoped. Can we intimidate? Let's give it a go. Will that work too? Good times. Three and negative two. That also might be worth wearing. Let's take those furs off. Put on that studded leather armor. That's now put us to three and five. I'm happy with that. So I think they're going to be coming back soon, and they are. What's their health state, though? They're wounded. We're also not in a great way, but we have some more of that uh, discharge built up. That sounded grosser than I intended. All right, let's see if this works. Zap, badly wounded, dead, perfect. All right, let's heal ourselves up. Maybe we can northwardate. In northward eyes, northward is good. But now we, oh no, now we also would... Uh, very much like to go back westwards. And I don't know if it's going to let us. How are we supposed to regain our bearings? Ow. Also ow. Let's use our stair to try and freak them out again. And we did. And the Equimax took care of it for us. Thanks so much. What a friendly Equimax. That stair is really uh, proving useful. I'm quite happy that we're uh, that we're able to stare down things that, are, by all rights, uh, would be able to murder us pretty easily. 
Oh dear, those salamanders picked a fight. They can't win. Come on now. I think we can just agree, Tortoise, that I don't like you and you don't like me. Okay, can we head this way? Yeah, we did it. We regained our bearings. Let's uh, grab some things here. Hopefully there's no one nearby and there isn't. Let's see if we can not get lost on the way back to town. Oh, yeah. We're back. Back in the starting town. Yay us. Um, who was it? Was it this one? I've slept on the sanctified folding cot. Thank you for your service, friend. Our village owes you a debt. For now, please choose a reward from our stockpile as payment for your service. Thanks. 500 XP, level 4. Oh, yeah. Hover sled. What is a hover sled? That looks amazing. I'm going to take that. We got more rep, so that's good. We now have a hover sled. Uh, hover sled. Hover sled. Whatever that is. Uh, where wasn't the village chief up here somewhere? Are they still there? Can we... Uh, Ooh, we could learn Wayfaring for 150 reputation. I think that's going to be worth it. Uh, that's 100 skill points we don't need to spend. It's going to be harder for us to get lost and, and so on and so forth. Uh, hover sled? Where is this hover sled? Where is it? Small box. Read history with psychometry. You flush with understanding of the artifact's past and determine it to be a hover sled. Tell me what it does. A toboggan repels above the ground and gently rocks on an ethereal wave. It's encircled by a corona of wafting dust. Nice. Uh, let's equip it. I assume that's going to be in the floating nearby slot, and it is. I'm assuming that also uh, will have increased our carrying capacity. Let's try unequipping it just to see. I don't actually know if that's doing what I would assume that it would do. Um, anyway, we'll plonk it in there because that's the slot that it goes into. Let's go and get fed while we're here in town. Mm, 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 delicious. Got that slime spitting back. And uh, we'll be able to trade some things with the Dromad, but we'll have to save that for next time because that's all the time we have for this part of the Let's Play. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and please tell a friend if you think they might enjoy this. And come back again soon for more of the many lives of John Rando. Music